we are going to continue from uh, the internet lesson that we had last time and talk about something that everyone gets confused with the internet. And what could that be? It is the wah wah wah, the tri w, the three w's, the world wide web. The world wide web. Now, when someone talks about the internet and someone talks about the world wide web, people often think they're the same thing, but they're not. We've already discussed that the internet is the network, the physical network, everything that's connected, the cables, the satellites, the microwave dishes, the you name it, it's the physical network that makes up this massive global network. But now we're going to talk about the World Wide Web. What is the web? It's a web of what? It's our stuff. It's all the content that we create. That's what the web is. It's everything that exists on this network. So it's the data that we then process into information. It's in multimedia, the videos, music, movies, pictures, the web pages that we look at, whether they're news, blogs, entertainment, social networking. It's everything that we create. It's all the material that sits online. So to get there, to find all of this, in our web browser, we type in what's called a URL, a Uniform Resource Locator. That's actually what it is. It's a Uniform Resource Locator. It kind of looks like this. Now, this should be familiar from the previous video. All right, That is an IP address. That is a very specific IP address. And we normally type that into our address bar right at the top there. Now, we know that we type in words not numbers. So we call that a web address. We don't really talk about web URLs or URLs. We say, what's the address of the website? So that's an example of an address. Let's break this down and see what this address actually is in sections. Okay, so the first one is HTTP. Now we don't normally type this in. This is the default and HTTP stands for Hypertext Transfer Protocol. Hypertext Transfer Protocol. Hypertext is something that's a link that you can click on and it takes you somewhere or it does something. It could be a picture or a piece of text or a video or an object of some kind. It's something that's active that you can click on. So that's the first part of our web address is telling the computer what sort of protocol, what language this computer is using to access the material online. The next thing is www. This tells the computer that we are accessing the World Wide Web. That's where the www comes in, World Wide Web. So it's not accessing the internet, we're on the internet, we're connected to the internet, we're now using the internet to access the material on the web. Then we have the domain name or the company name, okay, the business name. So for example, this is YouTube, which you might be watching on YouTube right now. And then the last thing is the extension, okay? Well, the final part of that dom the domain name, which is the type of domain or a geographical location. Back in the day, the .com meant that it was a commercial company, but it also meant that it was a USA company, all right, or a, a website founded in the US. That is different today because everyone can register .coms, but in the beginning, only certain people could register .com and they had to be in America. Now, everybody can register .com, which is only like with a company. Let's have a look at something more local. So here we have a HTTPS, and this is a little bit different, okay? I've added the S there because you will find that on a lot of web addresses now. The URL is secure. The S stands for secure. So it's HTTP, Hypertext Transfer Protocol, secure. That means that the data that you are sending and receiving to and from that website is encrypted from your computer to the, from, to the server and from the server back to yours. So anyone intercepting the data in the middle won't know what to do with it. It's been encrypted. That's what that means. So my advice is if you're doing something like uh, banking online or e-commerce or buying and selling stuff or purchasing stuff on takealot.com, things like that, make sure it says HTTPS. Very important. Again, we have the business or the company name. That's IOL, Independent Online. It's a news, um, news company. 
and then the geographical domain, .co.za. The ZA tells me that this is a South African website. Here's another one, cam.ac.uk. Do you know what that might mean? Right, the type of organization AC is academic. It's academic, and CAM, that's for Cambridge. So that's the actual website for the Cambridge University. AC, Academic, UK, the United Kingdom.